Welcome to Portniff Medical Center from your friends in information technology. We're happy that you've made the decision to join us at the most highly regarded healthcare facility in East Idaho. At Portniff Medical Center, it takes a large team of professionals to come together to make our hospital the best facility in the region and together offer world-class care every patient every time. Your friends in IT are here to help you successfully navigate through our many applications and systems you'll operate every day. Whether you're tech savvy or technically challenged, your IT team is here to make you feel comfortable with whatever application you may be tasked with using. Our highly trained and experienced IT professionals have a wide variety of experience. From our applications analysts to our field service technicians, together we're all here to help and to provide assistance so you're able to work as comfortably and as efficiently as possible while using the tools at hand. When it comes to technology, things can change quickly and we realize sometimes it's complicated. We encourage you to reach out to us and ask questions without hesitation. We'll always do our best to answer your questions and take your concerns into consideration. Hi, I'm John Taylor, IT Director here at Portniff Medical Center. Welcome, let's get started. Regardless of the application you'll be using, you will always start by logging into the computer workstation using your Active Directory credentials, which will be provided to you during your orientation. Your username will remain the same as long as you are employed at PMC. Your initial password is generic, and the first time you log into the system, you'll be prompted to change your password to your own unique password. When creating your password, there are minimum requirements to consider. Your password must have a minimum of 8 characters. Your password must not contain parts of your first, last, or logon name, and it requires three of the four following characters. An uppercase character, a lowercase character, a number, or a special character, such as an exclamation point, the at symbol, the hash, or the dollar sign. Please do not use a colon or semicolon as a special character, as these may interfere with application coding and cause unexpected errors. Please make note of your passwords and do not share your password with others. For your security, every 90 days you'll be prompted to update your password. You may not reuse any of your last 10 passwords, a notification will be sent to you by email to your portmed.org account. Most applications will use the PMC Active Directory credentials. However, there are a few standalone applications which may use a different password that may not require a regular update. We strongly suggest you keep a record of your passwords and store them in a safe place. For your convenience and the security of protected health information, Many of our workstations have a single sign-on card reader which allows you to swipe your badge to quickly log in and out. The first time you use single sign-on, you'll be prompted to enroll this card. Enter your username and password. Then when prompted, enter a four-digit PIN number and confirm the PIN number. You may now use single sign-on to sign in and out of computers and you'll only need to enter your PIN number once a shift. In Citrix, your applications are collapsed on the left side of the page. Click the plus to expand. Both live and test versions are located here. Now select the applications you wish to bring onto the desktop. Once on the desktop, double click the icon to launch the application. When exiting Citrix, always remember to log out. PMC provides hardware for your job. There are computers, monitors, keyboards, scanners, software applications, and many other devices in which you'll have access to use in order to perform the duties of your job. It is your responsibility to learn how to operate any such equipment and, if necessary, report any equipment or system problems if any of these tools become broken or unsafe to operate. If you choose to bring a personal device to work, please be aware that personal devices cannot connect to the Portniff Medical Center network. Security and confidentiality of patient information is of the highest regard, and any breach of that confidentiality may have serious legal and financial consequences. Remember, when walking away from a computer screen, it is your responsibility to secure your screens. Some applications have a lock screen feature, which may be used. Other applications require you to log out. Remember to swipe your badge to quickly log in and out. 
For those of us in IT, we know that you come to rely on the tools and technology regularly used in your daily undertakings. We also know that sometimes things don't always work as designed. If you're having issues with a computer or scanner or just need some help understanding the interface of an application, you have a few options to reach out to the IT or informatics team. Here are the ways to contact tech support. Call the help desk at extension 1125 or 239 1125. Sending an email to the help desk by clicking the link on your desktop, or you may use our app to send us a message. We understand that you're busy and would rather just call us directly, but using one of the preferred methods of contacting IT is the fastest way to get an issue addressed and corrected. This also allows us to track issues and be proactive in assuring your continued use of systems without interruptions to your workflow in the future. We also know that when systems and devices you count on stop working unexpectedly, it's highly inconvenient. But that's where we come in. We assure you that we will work diligently to get your issue resolved as quickly as possible. The easiest and often fastest way to get a response is to call our help desk at 239-1125. If your issue directly affects patient care, be sure you let the help desk know this so they appropriately prioritize your issue. When calling the help desk, it is helpful to give a brief but detailed description of your issue. Rather than telling the help desk, my computer just doesn't work, try to be somewhat specific. For example, when I click on the icon, the application doesn't launch and an error message occurs. Providing the help desk with specific information about your problem allows for the dispatch of the most appropriate resources to help get your issue quickly resolved. For issues that are not as urgent, sending an email is another preferred method of reporting an issue. On the desktop of your computer, simply click the shortcut to launch the IT support portal. Then fill in the required fields. Click Next to review your request. You will soon be contacted by the most appropriate member of our team. On rare occasions, systems may go down either unexpectedly or as a planned outage for maintenance or updates. Any planned downtime will be communicated in advance. In today's world, most of us are attached to our cell phones. However, while on duty, in general, cell phones are only to be used when no other phone is available. Text messaging any PHI is always unacceptable and you should never use your cell phone to take pictures of any patients. Always use discretion whenever using a cell phone. At Portniff Medical Center, all users have been provided a drive to store files. This is designated as the U drive, and your username is associated with that drive. It is best practice to save files to that location. If files are saved to a local computer desktop, the file is not secure and may be seen by others or the file may become unavailable or deleted. Remember, it is never appropriate to save any protected health information. When using computers and other systems at Portniff Medical Center, you will be privileged to view vast amounts of data. This information is classified and is in most cases to be held in the highest confidence. In order to protect any such data, systems are protected with encryption and other measures to ensure any breach of private information. For you, that means when starting to use a computer workstation, you're required to log in using your Active Directory credentials, which include a username and password. Your username will be assigned to you and remains the same throughout your employment at Portniff Medical Center. However, your password is unique and only you will know your password. It is your responsibility to remember it as you will be required to enter that password before you were granted access to any system data. When stepping away from your computer, it is your responsibility to either log off or lock the computer to prevent another person gaining potentially unauthorized access to the system. This is done by going to the Start menu and either clicking Log Off or clicking the arrow and select Lock. This forces re-entry of your password but keeps everything you are using as it was when you chose to lock your screen. As an employee of Portniff Medical Center, you are given an at portmed.org email account. A link to the Outlook web application is available on the Insider or on the portmed.org website under For Employees. We recommend bookmarking this page and checking your emails regularly. Your username and password are the same as your Active Directory credentials. 
Remember that not all emails are legitimate, and although we have security measures built into the system to prevent viruses and malware from infecting the network, it is also your obligation to judge any email you think might be suspicious and delete it without opening the email. All emails that are generated from outside of Arden or Portniff Medical Center will have a security warning. Portniff Medical Center has an intranet with a great deal of useful resources. To access the Insider, click the link to Internet Explorer. The Insider is set as the browser's homepage. From here, you have many options and navigation choices, including the link to send IT a support request. We suggest taking a little time to become familiar with this site. Some of the most frequently accessed links are available in the navigation section on the left side of the page. Expand these sections to begin exploring. The Employee Resource section is a great place to get started. We understand that IT covers a great deal of information which cannot all be shared in a short introduction. We encourage you to reach out to any of our team members whenever you have a question or concern. We're here to help. But always remember, the fastest way to get an issue resolved is by calling the help desk at extension 1125 to put in a ticket. So from the entire team of information technology,